So since I made my video about roadmen, I've been getting a lot of these roadman type YouTubers in my recommendations. They're usually these guys that make interview type videos called baiting out videos. What they do is go up to people in public and ask them questions like, who's the biggest side chick you know? Who's the biggest snake you know? And literally every single one of them decides to record in Stratford for some reason. So anyway, I think we should just jump straight into the first video. This video is called baiting out pagans in London and it's by a guy called Coombs. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Coombs. Today I'm going to be doing part two for baiting out pagans. Pagans and holes. So what is a pagan? At first I thought it was like this religious thing, but according to Urban Dictionary it's not. There's like four different definitions for it on Urban Dictionary. The top definition for it is a friend that lies, betrays and isn't true to you. And here's the example it gives. Drinny, you wanna come cinema? Dina, now nah, I was feeling sick all week including- what? Including today? So I'm staying home. What the fuck is 2A? <laughs> Hour later, Drinny is walking to the cinemas. Drinny sees Dina in the nearby shop with some of her friends. Drinny thinks, oh my god, what a pagan. She lied to me, that bitch. So yeah, I hope that definition helped. Right, so bait out the biggest pagan that you know. Obviously, my name's Bruno. This guy looks like a rogue man, Steve Urkel. Like, you can see he's got the puffer jacket on. He's even got that £15 Rolex on. Now, that's a true rogue man watch. You're only a true rogue man if you have a £15 Rolex. Bitches told me that... He gave lineups. That wasn't very nice, mate. I think you should apologise. So, they are the biggest pagan that you know. Alright, basically, I'm not saying names, but all I've got to say is that she's been obsessed with the same boy for a year and a half. Someone comes on her tip. She has to send nudes to that boy for approval to send them to her boyfriend. The only reason she goes out with her boyfriend is because she's a little fucking bitch. Well, why did you have to interrupt them, though? Just having a civil conversation. Also, who's that guy in the background? He's just, like, standing there. I, th I think he's a bit lost. Alright, so, they are the biggest pagans that you know. They are, they are Rebecca. Oh, I'm Rebecca first. She gave me your head in the back. Hang on, I'm sorry, what? Oh, Rebecca fam, she gave me your head in the back. She gave me your head in the back. Mate, you, you look about eight. When I was eight, I was like watching SpongeBob and collecting match attacks. Fucking kids these days. So they are the biggest pagan that you know. There's a slag here that goes to my school, yeah. She's such a fucking bitch, yeah. This girl next to her is out cold. She looks like she's having like a fucking Vietnam flashback. They are the biggest pagan that you know. I'm gonna speak on behalf of both of us, yeah. okay? You chat shit behind my back. I'm a wannabe this. I'm a wannabe that. Is this guy freestyle rapping an insult? Okay, so this next video is called Baiting out girls that think they're prestige. If you don't know what it means when someone thinks they're prestige, I think it means when they think they're like better than everyone else. So anyway, let's just get into the video. So in between the time of me recording and editing, the video I was gonna talk about got removed from YouTube for bullying and I didn't download it in time. But honestly, I can, I can see why the video got taken down for bullying. Like in the video, he posted pictures of just some random girl half naked and that's literally the only clip of the video I could find because he posted it on his Instagram. I was talking to the guy who made the video last night but he said that he doesn't have internet right now so he can't send me the full video but don't worry I found another video to talk about. This one's called baiting out fuck boys and fuck girls part one so you know this video is going to be good if it required a sequel. Uh, hi guys today I'm going to be asking the members of the public to bait out some fuck boys and some hoes yeah. Okay first of all he looks so fucking nervous it's like someone's holding him at gunpoint to make a baiting out video and secondly why does he look like he's about to play at a tennis grand slam also what the fuck is that watermark it's like shaking off the screen question is yeah to be out some fuck boys and fuck girls hey let me be our fuck girl yeah nadia oh, oh hey listen you're like a plastic cup you and your cheap nandos people bro. use you and throw you away <laughs> oh shit you just got fucking roasted this guy looks like a trainee road man like he's not quite there yet but he's getting there also you can tell he's putting on that voice like that's definitely not his real voice to be out a fuck girl or fuck boy Right, I'm taking the mic here. This means I'm gonna go mad. All right, fam. He tried to move to a girl, yeah. Instead of like going to her and like st touching her and shit, he got in a headlock, fam. You know, he might just be preparing for the backyard wrestling world championship. You don't know. What's the question? To be out from fuck girls and fuck boys. What the fuck is that bit of text in the top corner? Like, it doesn't even fit the screen. Like, how can you fuck up a piece of text so badly? It's like some Minecraft Kid 72 shit. You have to be out of fuck boy, yeah. Basically, yeah. There's this boy, yeah, called Cow, innit? So it's trapped within that, yeah. Well, I plaster it, whatever. Okay, for a second, I just want to talk about baiting out videos as a whole. Like, I don't get it. Like, why would someone talk about someone else negatively when you know it's going to be watched by thousands or potentially millions of people? If someone came up to me and was like, bait out the biggest fuck boy you know, I'd be like, no. 
nah fam, snitches get stitches. Like some of these people say people's full names and where they go to school. At that point, you're pretty much just asking to make enemies. And the thing is, the creators of the video keep in the bits where they talk about like their full name and where they go to school and all that stuff. So honestly, they're just as bad as the people who are baiting out. Like I know it probably comes off as a bit hypocritical because I make videos talking about other people, but usually in my videos, I try to keep it in good taste. So there's like no hard feelings. But with baiting out videos, it's just pure spite. There's honestly so many baiting out videos on YouTube. So I'm going to show you one more. This one's called baiting out begs. If you don't know what a beg is, then don't worry. Over the course of this video, I've become fluent in Roadman. So I can now tell you that if you call someone a beg, it means they're like a wannabe. This Urban Dictionary entry from Lashona probably describes it best. A suck up. A wannabe. A scrape. A human milk. She's hanging with Lashona now. That bitch is such a beg. But anyway, let's just get into the video. Hi, right, what's going on guys? Ash here today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new video here. So basically, in today's video... Something I've noticed is all these YouTubers say obviously all the time. Even when something isn't obvious. The biggest beg I know... Well, that's to be Van Banta, isn't it? You see? Ra, what's he done? Ra, what the fuck does that mean? Do you think you're like fucking Tony the Tiger or some shit? You're just a suck up, a wannabe, a scrape, a humour milk of Tony the Tiger. Bait out the biggest beg, you know. Or skit, whatever, whatever. Well, you can't have both. You've either got to bait out a beg or a skit. I got a girl, yeah. Is skate and beg at the same time. Holy shit, that's unheard of. Right. Yeah, I know, mate. That's a raw moment if I've ever seen one. She, she, be she begged me for my dick. Oh, what, how though? Like, did she actually come to you and beg you? Yeah, she wanted me to go to her house. Right, did you go? That was so surprising to him, he couldn't even finish off his ra. He had to cut it off halfway through. She has HIV on her lips as well, if you get me. Man said HIV on her lips, right. Okay, can we please just stop saying ra now? Obviously, you man, yeah, bait out the biggest beg, you know. How is that obvious? They didn't know you were going to ask it until you asked it. Some guy called Abdul, yeah, from Cumberland. This guy fixes best, best strong. Let me bow his Instagram, a1.skengs, yeah. DM him. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that, mate. Just going to write him up a message now. Hey, Abdul, mate, you're a fucking beg. Raw, love memeulous. That's uh, so obviously bait out the biggest beg, you know. I'm gonna shout out to the SJ girls, yeah? A lot of you lot are begs, yeah? In disguise. Damn, these begs are in disguise now. They're like fucking Transformers. Bait out the biggest beg, you know. Uh, this girl, yeah, always better not my line. These are some level 99 road men. No one without a degree in road manology would be able to pull that off. But anyway, guys, I think we've learned a lot about the baiting out community today. Mainly that they like to say raw and obviously a lot. If this video gets five likes, I'll go to Stratford and make a baiting out video. Oh, before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to Guilt Trip for this sick new channel art. Links to his Twitter and Deviant art will be in the description. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and smash that motherfucking like button. <laughs>